Hello. Welcome. In this video we look at batch management in S4 HANA. Let's review typical benefits from using batch management. First, to enhance traceability and logistics, manufacturing and recalls. Second, to comply to legal requirements, for example good manufacturing practice. Third, to differentiate inventory based on material characteristics. Let's look at two keywords. You may use the batch classification functionality to store batch specific data, such as active substance content, weight, technical or quality data, which is not contained in the batch master record. Classification of batches is mandatory if you want to use the batch determination feature. Depending on how the system is configured, the class is assigned to one of the class types below. 022 for batches at plant level. 023 for batches at material level and client level. Characteristics are criteria according to which you can search for batches. These characteristics are defined when creating a class. There are two different types of characteristic. User-defined characteristics such as active ingredient potency, viscosity, color, weight, which are not defined as fields in the batch master record. Data that is stored in the batch master record can also be defined as characteristics of a class, such as goods receipt date, shelf life expiration date, batch status. In this demo we will use the Manage Batches app. We will filter for our material, and we will look at a batch fact sheet. Then we will branch out to the batch information cockpit and look at batches belonging to our batch class. In our Manage Batches app, we can see that our material has four batches available in the system. We select batch JOX1 to view the fact sheet. In the fact sheet you have generic information about your batch. Here you see the change history. Under the General tab, we have the information on the date of manufacture, which was entered during the goods receipt process, as well as the batch status. In our case the batch status is unrestricted. In the classification data you will see which batch class our material uses. This is copied directly from the material master record. You can also see that this is a class 23 batch record. This means that the batch record is on material level, which means that every single plant will have the same characteristics for a single batch. Under plant, we can see that both the US plant and the German plant has quantities of this batch. Keep in mind, they both share the same characteristics. In our simple example, we did not use quality management. If we had done, the information of the inspection lots would be readily available here. Under history, we can see the goods movements which we have made with this batch. You can see the initial goods receipt of 50 pieces, as well as a goods issue of 2 pieces and a stock transfer or 10 pieces from the US plant to the German plant. In related apps, we find contextual information which we can navigate to. Here we choose the batch information cockpit. In the information cockpit, you have many options to search for batches. We will search through the classification. Selecting the batch class of our material. We execute our search. Several materials can use the same batch class. In our case you see, that also the material FG29 is relevant to our search. We select our material, to see our four batches. We still go with the batch we reviewed a minute ago. This is JOX1. Let's look at the classification data. Here you can see the characteristics which are relevant for determining which batch to use for logistics and manufacturing processes. In our simple case, we only have the expiration date. In real life examples, this could contain measurements of different kinds, such as active ingredient, shades of color or any other distinguishing characteristic. Next, we look at where the batch has been used. We decide to look at it from the German plant point of view. In this top-down analysis, we can see that we have received our 10 pieces in Germany as a stock transfer from the US plant. If we had a full scenario, including manufacturing, we would see which batches was used to manufacture the finished product. Let us complete this video by repeating the benefits of using batch management. First, to enhance traceability and logistics, manufacturing and recalls. Second, to comply to legal requirements, for example good manufacturing practice. Third, to differentiate inventory based on material characteristics. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.